Hello everybody, and welcome to the first official part of the uh, Let's Play Shogun 2 Total War. Now, <clears throat> before you get too excited, <laughs> there won't be any gameplay today. What I'm doing today is I'm giving you guys the opportunity to pick the clan that I am going to play as. Now, unlike Rome, where generally speaking you have to pick a Roman faction unless you undo the unlock the all factions uh, sort of mod, um, you have to pick a Roman faction. So I, I always I picked Brutii because I fancied playing the Brutii. I, I never played with them before. Uh, Medieval 2, I was restricted to playing with England because I'm English and I wanted to play with England. So that was my choice pretty much already made for me. Whereas with this game, I've got no allegiance with any of the clans and I don't really know anything about the, the time period uh, and I've never played Shogun 1 so I don't know anything about the clans at all so it doesn't matter to me personally which clan I pick and therefore I've decided to give you guys the opportunity to pick a clan for me. Now the voting on the uh, will open as soon as this video gets uploaded the voting is open in the comments page just type the name of the clan that you want to see me play as in the Shogun 2 campaign and the clan with the most votes will get your cho uh, will get will be chosen by me and that will be the clan I use to play this LP. So you can be as kind or as nasty as you like. You can be nasty in the fact that you can pick a clan that is surrounded on all fronts from the very start, making life extremely difficult. Or you can pick a clan that is slightly forgiving. Uh, somebody like the Chosokabi or the uh, uh, the Shimatsu clan that are start off on an island and get some nice little bonuses and things like that. So uh, it's down to you. Or of course you can pick a clan of this that's not being covered in an LP at the moment. You know, it's, it's totally down to you uh, what you uh, decide. So without further ado, I'll do a quick rundown of the uh, of the clans. Uh, I think there's, is there nine of them? Yep, there's nine clans. So what we'll do first, we'll start off with the uh, the Chosokabi clan. I won't read through all the blurb, I'll just give you the starting locations and whatnot. Uh, they start off on an island down here. Initial challenge is on easy. Um, they start off with one province and what they are, what they get, each clan gets a, a specific bonus and their specific bonus is that they, uh, they specialise in bow infantry. They can recruit superior bow infantry, uh, reduce recruitment cost for all bow infantry and they also get increased income from farming. So it's pretty much similar to the English in certain respects. They start off on an island, they're masters of the bow, like the longbowmen of England. Could be some similarities there. So that's the Chosokabi. Again you'll have to, you'll have to excuse me if I uh, pronounce any of these wrong. Uh, which I'm probably most likely to do. Uh, next up we've got the Shimatsu, who I am currently playing as on my own, uh, uh, just trying to get used to the game uh, settings and functions. I'm having a blast through with the Shimatsu at the moment. Again, initial challenge is set to easy. They start off on an island. Uh, their bonuses is they can recruit uh, superior katana samurai. Recruitment costs for Katana Samurai are, uh, are reduced and also can recruit superior Katana heroes. So their specialty is to do with sword infantry, the Katana Samurai, and they get also increased loyalty for all generals, prevent them from being bribed, or it makes it harder for them to be bribed. So that's the, uh, the Shimatsu. We have the Date clan, Masters of Battle. Their challenge is normal. They start on the mainland, but they start at the edge, so they're not surrounded. Uh, they can recruit superior Nodachi Samurai, which are the, uh, the Samurai that sort of like um, are like shock infantry. They get a charge bonus also to all units, and reduced recruitment cost and upkeep for Nodachi. So these guys are the master of shock and all. They charge in withdraw and then charge in again. The Ho Hojo, is it? The Hojo clan, they start off uh, again on the main island, but they have their own little section at the bottom there. They start off actually with two provinces, uh, but they're the masters of builders. Castles are cheaper to build and repair, can recruit superior siege engines, and reduce recruitment costs and upkeep for siege engines. That is the uh, Hojo. The Mori, 
uh, these start up again on the mainland there on normal difficulty initial challenge um, masters of the wave so they get superior ships reduced recruitment cost and upkeep for ships and increased campaign movement range for ships so they specialize in ships uh, whew, marvelous <laughs> the odor initial challenge hard they start off on the mainland uh, with one province but look they're right in the slap bang in the middle they've got a potential for some quite tough starting location there and their specialty is their masters of the peasantry reduced recruitment and upkeep for all Ashigaru units and improved morale for all Ashigaru units so that is the, like, the, the basically the militia units Ashigaru um, the spearmen and also the uh, the bow Ashigaru as well Takeda their initial challenge is hard they start off in the middle of the campaign map also probably surrounded by enemies they're the masters of the horses improve morale for cavalry can recruit superior cavalry and reduced recruitment cost and upkeep for all ca uh, all cavalry so that's the Takeda we've got then the Tokugawa they start very close to these other clans as well down in this bottom area here uh, they're re masters of intrigue so they can recruit the superior Kishio ninja bonus to diplomacy diplomatic relations plus two percent of the success chance of Mitsuke actions and reduce recruitment costs for Kyushu Ninja so these like subterfuge diplomacy masters of intrigue might make for an interesting campaign I suppose in certain respects that is them and finally the Yusugi again hard probably mainly because of their starting location and they are the masters of prayer so reduced recruitment cost and upkeep for warrior monks, increased trade income, can recruit superior warrior monks, and plus 2% to the success chance of monk actions. So that is the Yusugi. So we have all nine clans. It's down to you as to which ones, or to which one, you uh, want me to LP in the campaign. Think long and hard, and please don't pick something that I'm not going to enjoy, like bloody ship movements for God's sake. Anyway, so that is it. That is the main crux of this part. It's for you guys to pick the uh, the clan for me to use in the LP. I will be doing a long campaign which is the 40 province one. I'm not doing a short one. I'm not also doing the domination one which is 60 provinces. I'm doing the one in the middle which will be 40 provinces. I will be playing on normal difficulty uh, and apart from that, uh, buh, 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 that's pretty much it. That's how the campaign will be. That's how the LP will, LP will be. I will be giving you guys an opportunity, like in the medieval Total War LP, to shape the campaign. I will be asking your decisions on certain key moments if they crop up. Maybe asking your advice on certain situations. Because I'm still learning the game. I, a lot of people out there will still be learning the game. And we can all sort of... You know, piling together. Two brains, three brains, fifty brains are better than one. Right. Before I go, a quick reminder. I'm still looking and still taking requ well, requests. I'm still uh, collecting people's introductory, uh, introductory videos. Um, in the last clan announcement video, I, I, I said that I would, be, I would be really grateful if uh, those capable of creating intro videos would be willing to provide me with a introduction video for the Shogun 2 campaign. I've got two at the moment. What I will do is if I get two, three, four, five intro videos from different people, I will just play them, I will put, I will put them at the start of each set of updates um, on a week by week basis so that every intro video that is submitted to me does get posted at one time or another. I won't just pick one out of the five and that's it for the whole campaign. I will use all of the intro videos that I get at one point or another. So everyone's intro video has a chance to uh, be played before uh, a set of updates. So if you're still interested in getting an intro video to me for inclusion at the start of each set of updates, please do so. And uh, before I do officially sign off, Another quick look at how the Daimatori clan 
is faring at the moment. As we get to the campaign map, or the conquest map, whatever you like to call it, clan competition, requesting clan date, let's hope it loads up. My internet's been running a bit slow today. Okay folks, <laughs> I'm back again. Uh, I did have a little bit of a crashing situation uh, when it was trying to load up last time. Anyway, here we are, <coughs> the Dematory clan. As of now, we are currently top of the tier 9 by one little teensy wincy province. It's still a two-way battle between ourselves and the outcasts. Um, a lot of our water-based provinces, I say a lot, uh, two of them, have been captured by the Redox Shogunate, who have pushed their way into third place. And uh, we have captured a few more little bits of land settlements to make up for it. So we're still fighting on strong. Five days until the season ends and we hopefully get promoted into the next tier. So everything is looking hunky-dory at the moment for the Dematory clan in League Tier 9. So there we go. That's pretty much it for this little starter video. Um... If you're interested, I once again will open my arms to you all if you are interested in joining the Dematory clan, assisting us in our fight through the tiers. Uh, it's quite simple. All you need to do is sign up at the forums. The forums uh, link will be in the description of this video. Once you've joined us at the forum and signed up, send me a personal message via YouTube or has a wax. Send us a personal message via YouTube and we will um, endeavour to invite you to our group so you can join the clan. So there we have it. Pick me a clan to play in the LP. Join our clan, the Dematory, for the multiplayer campaign. And Get your intro videos to me for inclusion at the start of each set of updates. The official start date for the Shogun 2 LP for anybody who, who, who doesn't quite get it yet is the 13th of April, seven days from now. So until then, I'll see you soon.